Okay, our last method for solving multi-digit division problems without decimals is the digit by digit method. And if you asked your parents how to solve division, this is probably what they'd yes. show you how to do. So they'll okay. like this one. They'll like this one. <laughs> so the first thing you do is set it up just like when we did with the expanded notation. You'll set it up like a division problem. And you'll see some similarities here. So how many times again does 7 go into 38? And this should look familiar. I mean, this is the same problem that you've solved in the last two. This is just mm -hmm. a different way to do it. So 7 goes into 38 five times. Now notice, I'm just talking these first two numbers. Yeah. I didn't put any zeros here. Now I multiply out. So I divided. Then I multiply. 7 times 5 is 35. Then I just deal with these numbers. Again, I'm going digit by digit. <laughs> <laughs> so I subtract. I get 3. Now I'm bringing down one digit. My two, my next one over. So now I'm dealing with just the number 32. So 7 goes into 32 how many times without going over? And we get 4. Again, notice one digit. 7, now I multiply. 7 times 4 is 28. Subtract, I get 4. Bring down my 2, I get 42. So how many times does 7 go into 42? So each time I bring one down, this is my new number that I'm dividing into. Okay, so 7 goes into 42 six times. 7 times 6 is 42, so I have a remainder of 0. So again, you get the same thing. This one is just instead of looking at the numbers all together, you're just taking them one digit at a time. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. And I don't know if you noticed the pattern, but we always divided, then multiplied, subtracted, and brought down. Yeah. Okay. There might be so, little chants that you've done or little sayings, dead mice smell bad, oh, just to help I remember the steps. I thought of like family, like dad, mother, sister, brother. Oh, that sounds Is much that better than dead mice smell bad. That's what we would always say. <laughs> I kind of like the dead mice one though. Yeah, so dead or dad, <laughs> divide, then multiply, subtract, subtract bring burn. down. And then you could even add in a rover, the dog. Oh. For repeat or remainder. <laughs> okay, we're getting a little out of control here. Okay. Crazy stuff here. Yeah, so make sure you have this written down. <laughs> it's in your note taking sheet, so you just had to copy down all the steps, and then you will get to try one right now. Mm -hmm. All right, so once again, you should have something like this set up. Try it on your own, we'll go over it, but remember that whole theme of digit by digit. So, Looking here, we're going to look and we have 4 going into just, well, it can't go into just 2, so we're going to look at 25. And 4 times 6 is going to get me close to 25 without going over, and that would be 24. So once again, we're just dealing with these two numbers. We're going to subtract, and now we get 1. And of course, then we have bring down. And so now we're going to look at this new set of numbers. So 4 goes into 14 how many times? And that's going to be 3 times. three, And then next we multiply. 3 times 4 equals 12. Then we subtract and we get 2. And then the last step is, once again, to bring down. So we're going to bring down this 8 all the way down here. And now we get 28. So how many times does 4 go into 28? That would be 7 times, and just going through those steps again, 7 times 4 equals 28, subtracting again, and we get 0, so this time we do not have to bring down, and we do not have any remainders because we don't have a smaller number than 4, mm -hmm. so our answer, and hopefully your answer, is 637. So. Yeah. Um, once again, if you need to pause and sort of see if you did make a mistake, where is it? Is it a subtraction kind of issue? Did you just um, make a mistake multiplying? Just sort of see what, you know, what happened. It's okay. We're just sort of practicing right now. Um, and now, of course, we're going to give you a little more practice on your own. So um, once again, this is on your note-taking sheet. You're going to just try two problems, and this time... Try the digit by digit method, even the, if it's not your preferred way, just try it mm -hmm. and we'll go over them tomorrow.